Morning folks, blast from the past for you this morning. We're at my old stomping ground. My old school is just there. This is a child called Lucy who is on her way to the dentist to have like most of her teeth removed, is that what they said? Or yeah. seven teeth removed, mm -hmm. so she can have braces fitted. So we've just been charging around across Peterborough trying to find the orthodontist, the orthodontist who has a referral letter for her, which we've now done. So we picked that up, now we're heading to the dentist dentist so they can do the dirty work. So next time you see her, she's gonna be dribbling and stuff and it's gonna be hilarious. It's the only reason I've come really. Teeth removed. She now doesn't want to be on camera because apparently her teeth have been replaced with gauze and blood. So she's uh, sat in the car. We're trying to get her a beverage. But this Tesco here, they don't cater for people who just had teeth removed. They don't sell straws in there. So I've had to buy her a bottle of water so she can have a drink and a box, I'm confiscating it from her now, a box of Tesco Value Capri Suns because they come with little mini straws. So she can get a straw so she can drink some water that way. But it's, uh, it was fairly, uh, it was trauma free I would say. If she's up for talking later in the day, um, I'm sure she'll tell you all about it herself, but at the moment she can't really talk properly. You're going, it was trauma free. Uh, they pulled the first tooth out and she went, oh is that it? The second one? No. Oh afterwards, yeah afterwards we had to sit in the waiting room a little bit because she thought she was going to faint. but. And she she's got the same gag reflex I've got, I think. It doesn't like having the gauze in her mouth and it's making her want to be sick. But she hasn't been sick, she hasn't fainted. Um, she seems all right now. She's just giggling. I think the Novocaine's working. You all right? Should we go home? You don't want to be on camera though? No. This is where I need her to faint so I can just show her with the gauze hanging out of her mouth. Right, let's go home. Second Tesco of the day and it's not even lunchtime. This is impressive even by my standards. The invalid has sent me out again. I realised I might not have actually explained what was going on earlier. It was all quite quick. We were in a bit of a rush. We couldn't find the orthodontist that we had to go and pick up her referral letter from because I've not taken her before and we had to pick up the letter to be able to take it to the dentist. She's having braces fitted in a couple of months time I think or maybe not even that long and she just had to have two teeth removed from the top two molars at the top to make room for the teeth to be realigned and for the braces to go in so that's what this morning was about she didn't enjoy it at all um, she's all right now she's still sat at home the bleeding stopped but it's still quite sore painkillers are starting to wear off now so she sent me to tesco with a list of things that she would like to eat she's not allowed anything hot for 24 hours because it'll cause it to start bleeding again She's allowed to eat, but she doesn't feel like she wants to, so she just wants cold liquids, but she's starving hungry. So the list I've been given, I don't even know if this is what she should be having, but it's what she's asked for, is vanilla ice cream, golden syrup porridge, honey Greek yogurt, if that's a thing, I swear it is, I'm just reading from a text she sent me, and strawberry smoothie. Oh, banana and strawberry smoothie, because apparently it's quite filling. So I'm now heading into Tesco to grab those bits, and see, I don't, she was supposed to be going back to school this afternoon, but she doesn't seem right at all, so she's probably not going to be. It's nearly three o'clock. We went to, the, we left the house at nine o'clock this morning for all this dentist stuff. She's still got her tie adjusted perfectly, <laughs> but you've not been to school, have you? How was the ordeal? Can you feel your face again now? I can now. <laughs> she was sat there at lunchtime going, I can't feel my lip, I can't feel my nose. No, I can feel my nose for a long time, but... but you had two teeth removed. How is it feeling? Is it hurting? No, I thought it would because yeah. of the what's it called anaesthetic. It's all yeah, off, but it doesn't hurt. Good. I want to see. <laughs> Space is in my mouth. <laughs> she, yeah, it's a bit gappy where they've come out, isn't it? And I, mm. blood everywhere still. I imagine. So you're not eating or anything yet? No. Well, I managed to have smoothies and yogurt. Mm. Wow, surviving on smoothies, yoghurt. Did you have any of the Capri Suns that I bought? Or are they just I for straws? One. They're just an expensive way to buy straws. <laughs> Splendid. Why, when are you having the brace fitted? A month. A month. Okay, so you got you have to have it four weeks before your braces. Okay. It's all very complicated. I never had braces, that's why my teeth were a little bit crooked. Mm. Greater than mine though. Oh no, they're a bit overlapping at the front. Which I guess it's not enough of a big deal to have a brace, but it's a little bit irritating. One overlaps the other slightly, which I don't think we're used to. 
It's weird. But you've had the day off, you'll be back at school tomorrow. You're not dying. No, I slept. I feel better. <laughs> she had about five or six injections. <laughs> it was it was quite funny how drowsy she got. I didn't realise it would make me sleepy. Mm. I, I must have I could keep my I remember not being able to keep my eyes open. But but then I didn't know if I was allowed to sleep, but I'm Well you weren't supposed sleep. to, I don't think. Not yet. But I guess you didn't. You, you you may have done, but you've recovered from it, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I did just. I was. I've been outside doing a little bit of work, and I just came in, and she was basically lying on the sofa, <laughs> head propped up, because she has to have her head propped up. She's not allowed to lie flat for a few days, and um, duvet downstairs inexplicably. <laughs> You're feeling well enough to go and fetch your own duvet. I was. I was so cold, and I was already up there, so I just grabbed it. Splendid. Well. Next time people see you, you'll be fully recovered, just with less teeth. It might take me a while to get fully recovered. I'm very At least you're talking it. properly again now. When you were refusing mm. earlier, it was quite funny. Gauze jammed up in her gaps in her teeth. and <laughs> She can't move her lip properly. Her mouth's full of gauze and stuff. and Yeah. It does feel funny, though, to talk, because I can feel the spaces every time. Does it just feel like when you lose like a baby tooth? Kind of, but then it's weird because I feel like there's a more of a space and it's like kind mm. of painful. It did look, I mean, you obviously couldn't see it being pulled out, but did you watch it was, it? yeah, it's, she just gets a pair of pliers I felt like and we, basically we, puts her hand on your face and the other one, she's really pulling and twisting. And uh, then you, you hear the, I guess it's the connection snapping. You can just hear it going, and she's twisting and pulling, and then she pulled it out, and it's so long. I felt the twisting, but I didn't realise it was out when it was out, because it just... Yeah. I thought I'd... No. can't believe you didn't keep your teeth and make them into earrings or something. She, she asked you about five times, I think she just wanted rid of these teeth. Why, why would I want these teeth? <laughs> Do you? You said on the way that one of your them. friends kept theirs. Yeah, it was a bit, a bit Okay. Like, what would you do with them after? Earrings. Mm. Right, um... Andy's going to be home in a minute, so I need to move you out of our afternoon studio. You're going to have to go and sit somewhere else if Anna's watching this. She's not sitting anywhere she shouldn't be. We're not allowed, none of us are allowed to sit in Anna's chair, but I'm going to put you in there now just for 10 minutes while we do our afternoon Andy filming. He's coming back with food. In fact, he's bringing back food you might be able to eat because he's not making pasta this week. He made couscous stuffed peppers. Which I imagine you could probably eat, Maybe but pepper. we'll see how they are. I need to go and sort Dave as well. Right, so shoes and socks away then, please. Oh, have you had a good day? Yeah. Good. Take your shoes away and we'll have a look at what you've cooked today. Mm -hmm. Smells rather good. <laughs> yes, Hello. Lucy's. He's just noticed Lucy's here. Hi. Yes, Lucy's here. Are you He's thinking she's not supposed to be here. Oh, oh. I like my I'm using you. Why are you <laughs> Right. Here we go, as promised. Today's cooking. So, have you had a good day? Yeah. Did you have fun making yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Some stuff. They smell really good. Stuffed peppers with couscous and cheese in them. It smells like pizza. That's quite remarkable how good they smell. Save them for our tea, maybe. Right. So what have you done at school today? Then? Hands out your trousers. What have you done at school today? What did you do there? I'm cooking. Yeah. You did cooking. It was cooking fun. Yeah. Good. I see you've got yeah. a super hexagon music on again. Yeah. Good, how's that? Right. We'll just try and tilt you around a little bit so you don't have to hear the music quite so loud. Yes, he's in charge. Yeah, it's on charge. Right. This morning... Can we turn that down a little bit, please? Turn it down a bit. You don't have to turn it off, just turn it down a little bit. It's too loud. This morning, the Red Base planned to walk to the War Memorial. Um, did you go to the War Memorial, or did you just plan it? At War Memorial. You went to War Memorial. Andy got quite anxious about it. 
So we decided he would stay in school. Okay, so you didn't go. So Andy stayed in school. I guess it's going somewhere he's not been before. Yes, well, he charge. has been there. They probably just yes, should have called it something different. I don't know where your charge is. That's... Lucy, did you unplug his charger earlier? Ah. Andy did some fantastic work in maths and literacy. This afternoon, Andy took part in cooking lessons. Hope you enjoy the peppers. I hope you enjoy the peppers too. Now, I need to find where he has put her iPad charger. Yeah. Because somebody left it plugged in instead of Andy's DS charger and he's just yanked it out. I don't know where it's gone in his corner. His DS is back in, but we only have the wire for the iPad and not the bit that the wire plugs into. Which has Lucy's name on it. Lucy's charger. Who made the label? You made the label yourself? Yeah. You've had this cable for three years? Wow. I want you to make me labels for my chargers. Well that day just completely got away from me. It's 11 o'clock at night, I think, give or take a few minutes. Three minutes past 11. This afternoon, we got the uh, the call from Sports Interactive, the football manager uh, developers. They, they sent us through our um, teams for the Creators Cup thing that we went down to London to about a week and a half ago and said, right, we want all the videos recording tonight and sending over tonight. So suddenly, what had been a day of sorting out Lucy and generally being quite organised and I was planning on catching up on the bit of work this evening that I'd missed this morning, dropped everything, tried to figure out something to do with my team and then had to play my games, edit together the videos, get them sent over. So it's been pretty much action stations on that for the last six or seven hours and now I'm really, really, really tired. Plus, I didn't get caught up on the work that I missed this morning so tomorrow is going to be a busy day. So I need to go to bed. I know it's always a bit weird when I have to cut the vlog off short after a long gap of time like that, but I can't tell you what went on in that six or seven hours anyway, because it'll spoil the surprise when the videos come out. The videos will be out on the main channel. Oh, it's not the main channel anyway. I haven't called it up for ages. The videos will be out on the gaming channel. Well, it's catching up. It might be the main channel again soon. Um, they'll be out Thursday, 4 p.m. on my channel and then 7 p.m. over on Dr. Benji's channel. It's two legs and, um, oh, it's, it, it, you definitely need to watch. There's, uh, there's, there's much excitement to be had. So, um, yeah, I uh, look forward to you joining me over on the gaming channel then and obviously back here again tomorrow. I've also got an idea for something that's going to involve me going out and about. More on that as it develops. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And thank you very much for watching.